Okay, so as far as I know, I have everything cleaned off here. Um, I took the cam right here and got it all cleaned up. So um, I'm going to try and just apply this uh, lube, assembly lube, to the actual um, bearings itself rather than to the, to the cam. I don't really want it to get super greasy. Um, buddy of mine that um, I've been consulting with, Bryce is his name, super good dude, and he kind of recommended not to get the um, bottoms of the rocker of uh, the lifters, the rollers of the lifters, to be super juicy. So uh, I'm just gonna kind of. Squirt a little of this on there and smooth it around and do that for all of these here quick. Okay, so cam's in, then I went and cleaned off this part. This is the cam thrust cover, like the plate that goes right here on the face, and you can see it's got some markings on it from which side was in and out. So I got that and the screws, the bolts for that. So then the um, torque spec for this is 106 inch pounds or 9 foot pounds, about. So, not very tight. Okay, so here are the main bearings. It's a part number. So, two sets. The set with the holes is the block side, so you can see it's got the holes right there. And the set without the holes is the cap side. So I'm gonna get uh, get started placing those now. Something you want to look for when you're doing this is you can see that little tang right there. See that little, little cut off right there? That needs to match up with there's a corresponding spot on the block. So in this case they're all on the far side here. So. got the uh, upper, or uh, be the lower I guess, shells of the bearings placed into here. So again you can see right there, see how that little notch lines up and there's not one over here, same deal. So then when I took these off, um, maybe I, you saw it, maybe you didn't, but there's a one dot there, two dots there, three dots there, four dots there, and then obviously this one's the fifth one. And even so, I would remember the order relation, I did put five dots on there. And they're all on the same side, on this side. So that when I put this all back together, because I am not a pro, I feel fairly confident that this is the, <laughs> the right order of how to put these together. Where the, the, I want to make sure they're going in the right spot. And it might not matter at all, but I just want to make sure. And so I assume the F in the little arrow means front. I assume the front of the engine but beyond that you know they have different numbers on them I don't know what the hell any of that means doesn't matter I'm just gonna do it um, this way and so uh, I'm gonna quick lube them up with some assembly lube and put them home and torque them down and I don't know what the um, 
spec is yet, but I'll get there. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to put these main caps, uh, the bolts in. So uh, just what you want to do is um, make sure the threads have just some oil on them. So I'm going to douse that in some just um, motor oil and then put them home. And then I'm going to go to 65 um, pounds and then... Uh, I'm going to do that in two stages, so I'll go to like 40 and then 65. So, should be a fairly straightforward deal. Um, just 10, 10 bolts, basically. And then for the, for the ones with the goofy end like this, I'll just use this long, longer socket to fit over there. I think that'll work. Yeah, it'll work. So that's what we'll do now. <clears throat> So now i am got my torque wrench set to uh, 40 foot pounds. So now I'm gonna um, torque these down, starting from the middle and working my way out. Okay. Now I'm going to turn up to 65. So now that thing spins and then two fingers on the sprocket, that's nice. Good deal.